In this episode, I'm speaking with Linda Savillich. Linda was a Get Set Up Startup Accelerator program for 55 plus winner. Linda has a real interesting story where she became disabled from her job in the airline industry and now has a successful and more importantly, fulfilling business teaching people to sew. I think you'll be able to hear the joy in her voice as she tells her story. Cue the music. Welcome to the Repurpose Your Career podcast, brought to you by Career Pivot. This podcast is where those of us in the second half of life come together to discuss how to repurpose our careers for the 21st century. Come listen to career experts give you proven strategies. Listen to people like you tell their stories on how they repurpose their careers. And finally, get your questions answered. Your host, Mark Miller, has made six career pivots over the last 30 years. He understands this is not about jumping out of the frying pan into a fire, but rather to create a plan where you make clear, actionable steps or pivots to a better future career. Are you ready to repurpose your career? Welcome to episode 304 of the Repurpose Your Career podcast. My name is Mark Miller, and I will be your host every Monday for a discussion on what it's like to repurpose your career. In this episode, I'm speaking with Linda Savillich. Linda was a Get Set Up Startup Accelerator program for 55 plus winner. Linda has a real interesting story where she became disabled from her job in the airline industry and now has a successful and more importantly, fulfilling business teaching people to sew. I think you'll be able to hear the joy in her voice as she tells her story. Linda worked for a major airline for 35 years and loved her job. However, in her mid-50s, she lost eyesight in one of her eyes and was forced to retire. She's been teaching people for 20 plus years, but it was Get Set Up that changed her course. Let me read the About Us section from the Get Set Up website. Get Set Up is on a mission to help the third of the world's population who are over 55 to learn new skills and connect with others and unlock new life experiences. Older adults have incredible knowledge to share and new mountains, literally and figuratively, to climb. But until now, they haven't had their own place to pursue their passions and continue creating, growing, and giving back. Linda entered the Get Set Up Startup Accelerator program for 55 plus last year and was selected as a winner and received a small grant to fund her business. But before we go any further, let me mention I have a sponsor for this episode, Magic Mind. Magic Mind is the world's first productivity drink. It's not an energy or coffee-based drink, but a drink that will help you stay focused. I've been using Magic Mind for about a year and it has made a real difference, but more on this later in the show. Now, on to my discussion with Linda Savillich. Welcome to the Repurpose Your Career podcast. I have the real joy of having Linda Savillich, and Linda is one of the Get Set Up Inc. 55 Plus Incubator winners, and she is a now an entrepreneur. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Mark. It's a joy to be here. Linda, what did you do in the first half of life? I always wanted to travel and see the world. And I figured the best way to do this would be to work for an airline. I spent over 35 years working for a major airline and traveling. I loved to see different people, different ways they cook, different ways they dress. Uh, I loved history when I was going to school. So I like museums and things like that. So it all came together working for an airline. And I, it's never bore. It was never boring. I loved my job. I totally loved my job. But what happened is I had a medical situation where I lost my vision in one of my eyes. I had to relearn how to function, quite frankly, be when you don't have a right eye, and like in my case, 
My equilibrium was totally off. I had to relearn how to function. I had to relearn how to drive, quite frankly. Mechanically, I knew how to drive, but I had to figure out where the parking spot really was. That took time. So it ended up that I took an early retirement. I had other interests. I said, okay, this is the end of this chapter in my life. And at the time, uh, I always liked sharing my knowledge of doing things. So I had already been teaching adult education classes with my local area. And I was teaching jewelry making and furniture finishing. Later on, I started making fabric memo boards. Now, I don't know if you have heard of a memo board. It's not the computer world, techie world memo board, but it's a fabric way to display pictures on the wall. This is how you could easily display pictures of that and easily relocate them using the ribbons. And I've made about 500 of them. I've shipped them all over the country. That became my new little business. And it was just uh, a way I started getting back into sewing. So I'm going to include some pictures from... uh from Linda's website in the show notes. So you know what she's talking about. And so at what age did you take early retirement? 55. Okay. And did you have a pension? I did. I did have a pension. I did. And I also had a disability insurance. I had five years of disability insurance that I had already bought. I was able to go into uh, Social Security and have a Social Security payment as well as my pension payment. And for a while, I had my disability payment. You you started this business. You applied last year for the Get Set Up 55 Plus Incubator. Right. What was it like going through the program and what did you learn from that? My health insurance had provided Clover Health had sent me an invitation to join Get Set Up classes. And this was right when the pandemic started. And I found myself home, not going out anyway, making masks, no less, (laughs) because people needed a mask. And uh, the Get Set Up program was ideal because I could take classes and things that I was interested in from the comfort of my home. And I even took classes, no joke, I even took classes at three o'clock in the morning because their classes are all over uh, different time zones. Because India is, for example, they're having night when we're having day. And then Australia is in the same situation. And we would have access to teachers from all over. And the Get Set Up Entrepreneur entrepreneur, um, Program was mentioned in one of the Indian classes. And I like, oh, this is what I need. I need to be in this class. So I kept waiting to see something pop up in the U.S., kind of classes. And then I just wrote them. I said, when's, when's the get, up, get Set Up Entrepreneur class? And they were like, how did you know about this? <laughs> but uh, I totally jumped into it because I learned, I had been learning so many ways to use my phone for my business, to, to write things, to use templates with uh Gmail. Uh, Before I was typing up all these things and having to retype the same thing or copy and paste. Now I'm learning how to do a template. Then I'm learning how to do some things with the photos. It's just taken me into a totally other world. And I so appreciate Get Set Up and the quality of teachers that they offer. It's exciting, and it's exciting to be able to to connect with people in a, another part of the world. It's just totally astonishes me. 
Magic Mind, which I said in the introduction, is the world's first productivity drink. I only accept sponsors for this podcast where I've used their products and I'm enthusiastic about their products. Well, I've been using Magic Mind for about a year. I drink Magic Mind with my morning coffee. I actually like the taste and sip on the product while drinking my morning coffee. I first used the product on our three-day drive from our home outside of Guadalajara, Mexico to Austin, Texas. This is a thousand-mile drive that we've made over a dozen times. I found myself more alert and focused. I used the product diligently over the holiday. As I perform my annual website and podcast audit, I will tell you there is close to a thousand pieces of blog posts and podcasts. I found Magic Mind invaluable in helping me stay focused. I spent a lot of time strategizing on how to grow this podcast, and Magic Mind has helped me with my own creative thinking. Magic Mind is a productivity drink. It's not an energy or coffee-based drink, but a drink that will help you stay focused on what you are doing, beat procrastination, and get you into a working flow state. As I said, I drink this with my morning coffee. After 30 minutes, I'm ready to go to work. If you continue to use it on a daily basis after five or 10 days, you will notice that you are more productive, stop procrastination, and will get into a working flow state much easier. There are lots of ways to consume the product, making a latte, chugging, or sipping. Magic Mind works for me. I believe it will work for you. I have a 20% off code to share with you guys. It's RYC, which stands for Repurpose Your Career. To use it, go to magicmind.co slash R-Y-C and enter the code R-Y-C at checkout. The best part is they have a money-back guarantee. If you get the subscription, it's 40% off, and my 40% off code only lasts 10 days, so hurry up. As always, the link in the discount code will be included in the show notes. And so tell us about your business. I offer individual and group classes in my home sewing studio. And in here, I have five-year-olds up to retirees, people who have sewn before and people who have never seen a sewing machine and have no clue. I even have men and women. I have men coming in here to sew. It, It boggles my mind, the, the people who are interested in learning to sew. Now, my mother was a home ec teacher, and everybody in my family always sewed. All the the women, shall I say, sewed. I learned a lot of it through osmosis, shall we say, because I was in that kind of environment. Today, the schools do not offer it. They don't offer it in my area. I don't know any areas, quite frankly, that are offering home economics or home skills like this. I just feel... When you go into the store, like I tell all my students, it really doesn't pay to make a dress because it's cheaper to go to the store and buy one and just change the hem on it or do something that you need to tweak it so it fits you. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't learn how to sew because there are so many great things you can do for your home or your clothing that then you're ready to move on to another, to something else. So my students are, I gear the classes to what the student wants to make. And um, we go from there. We have fun in here because we are only thinking about sewing in here. It's like your brain has a break from the normal routine. This is, I have people who are psychologists I have people who are nurses. I have even had a a doctor take classes in here. And it boggles my mind because they love doing something totally different from what their regular career was. It uses a different part of the brain. So all of your classes are in person? Yes, they are. Although I do offer, I offer Zoom classes. So people can can take a sewing class with me via Zoom. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you've gone virtual. I have gone virtual. Yes. So how many students do you typically teach in a month? I I kind of gear it to the week. I generally have about seven on the high end to three on the low end per week. Some of these students come back each week. 
Some stay for two-hour classes. Some come every couple of weeks. I have a very liberal cancellation policy, which is if they want to cancel for any reason, that's okay. Because I'm really not looking at them with dollars and cents in my eyes. I am looking at them to help them with their sewing journey. If they don't feel like sewing that day, we just reschedule for another day. And it all works out. Also, we can have bad weather. I don't want people driving over to my house when they could stay in the comfort of their home and just sew next week. So I like to, I have a really, and I also send them a reminder email the day before in case something better came up for them. That's okay too. I want them to have a life. So how do you market your business? Well, uh, I have found from Get Set Up that the the fact that I put my na- the name of my town in my title classes offered in Aston. So if see, people are going for sewing near me, and they happen to be in Delaware County in the greater Philadelphia area, I will come up and. My students generally find me that way. Now, my virtual students, they find me via something called Thumbtack and take lessons because they are in, they do the advertising. And then I am just one of the persons that can be their teacher. So do you have a newsletter? I have a newsletter. And I will send you a copy of my newsletter for 2022. Absolutely. So do you do you have a newsletter that you send out every week, every two weeks, once a month? Uh, periodically. Periodically. Like uh, okay. I did one in I did one in September. I did one in December. And now I'm doing one the de- I've done one in January in January for the entire year of 2022. That is part of Get Set Up because I am now doing a newsletter. (laughs) And what do you use to create your newsletter? What do I use? I use Canva and I also use um, Gmail templates. Where do you see this going? I am totally happy with this staying just where it is. I am. I don't have any lofty goals my my goals have all exceeded my expectations shall we say i'm i'm happy where i'm at um i don't know it'll be interesting because uh, every year uh i do things a little different we all get it's january i have a new year's resolution so i'm going to do some different things this year I don't know where this is going to take me, but I know I'm going to be doing a different things. Financially, is this something that gives you extra spending money? What do you do with the money from the business? I call it my play money. <clears throat> I pl- I call it my play money. I uh, am super. I I charge a reasonable price. I have four prices. People can pay as they go. Or I have two specials. They can get five hour class, five one hour classes for one price, and ten one hour classes for another price. So they have a, an assortment of ways that they can take classes, and I just am super happy the way things are going. I really am. What brings you joy out of all of this? Uh, I get joy out of every student. Absolutely every student. Uh, they have, when I'm in here, I don't, I'm not looking at the clock. And in fact, I use Alexa to keep me on schedule. <laughs> so I really, uh, I don't wear a watch in here. I'm just concerned with what we're working with. And I don't, I'm not looking at the clock and I'm not, uh, other than trying to stay on schedule. That's it. How long do you plan on doing this? Probably forever because it's not at all boring. It's always interesting. I'm learning to do a lot of new things that I never thought I was going to do. Not things that I learned in home ec for sure. And uh, 
I, I'm really into reusing things that people have, recycling things. Since they've already paid for them, they already have them in their closet. I'm into giving a new life to something that they may have just hanging around that they don't use. So all my sewing students, I tell them to start in their closet before they go to the fabric store and pull out some things that they aren't using, but they would like to use. And we re restyle them into something else. So Linda, can I ask how old are you? 74. So you're still a kid. <laughs> At heart. Yes. yes. Good. Well, Linda, this is a fascinating story. I wanted people, the, the fact is, this is something that you can keep doing for as long as you have your faculties. That's right. I want and, to keep them too. <laughs> well, it, it keeps, it's one of those deals of where I'm sure it keeps you mentally acute, um, mentally sharp. Yeah. And um, and the interacting with the people who you, I'm sh I, my guess is you're meeting people you never thought you'd meet. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. So if someone wanted to, to take a class from you, how would they find you? Well, uh, they could Google uh, classes offered in Aston dot blogspot dot com. That is my official website. However, they could probably put my name in and it will pop up because I have a, an unusual name. And uh, so Linda, S-I-V-I-L-I-C-H, they will find me there. Uh, I've got quite a few. I've got over 20 reviews on Google so they can see what other people have said about taking classes with me. And they, when they look on my website, they can see pictures of what other people have done. And uh, this would give them a starting point. And we will include all of that in the show notes. Thank you. I appreciate that. Linda, thank you very much for being on the Repurpose Your Career podcast. Thank you, Mark, for having me. Hope you enjoyed listening to Linda's story. And maybe you might be inspired to try something new. Take a moment, go to careerpivot.com, sign up for the weekly Career Pivot Insights newsletter, which is sent out every Sunday. You will get a weekly update on this podcast, white papers, and new blog posts. I recently published my latest white paper, Ageism, The Last Acceptable Bias. While there, do not forget to check out the Career Pivot community, which can be found at careerpivot.com slash community. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Look for Career Pivot on Facebook and LinkedIn. You'll also find me on Twitter at Career Pivot. Thank you for listening all the way to the end of the Repurpose Your Career podcast. You will find all the show notes at careerpivot.com slash episode dash 304. You can also subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Podbeam, Overcast, Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Music, and lots of other places where podcasts can be found. In fact, this podcast can be found on the Repurpose Your Career podcast channel on YouTube. Hope to see you next Monday for another episode of Repurpose Your Career podcast.